one of the projects I got going on is to try to get my bike ready because I've run across this thing on the internet called Swift and uh, I want to start riding my bike in uh, inside but have the feel for outside. I used to ride do a lot of group rides and races and that kind of thing triathlons and whatever and uh, so I'm uh, getting my bike set up to ride indoors in this Swift which is another videos that I'm going to put out here soon but uh, right now I've got to get my bike um, tune back up but it, uh, it's been hanging up in uh, up there for quite a long time and time to get get it going here's my bike it's a little bit old it's a Cannondale 613 uh, bought it on eBay spent about $1,800 for it um, it's a $3,600 bike at the time um, but um, I haven't really done a lot to it so today though what I'm doing is I'm getting I'm tearing off all of this all of this here and I'm going to re wrap these and then I have to figure out what to do about these um, they look a little difficult to change because of the gear here uh, I don't know how you get them off so without taking this off and and that's looks like a little difficult thing but uh, I'm gonna take a look at it see what I can find I've already taken all the wrap off of this side over here um, so that's done and uh, now I'm, I'm gonna see I might have some wrap in my in one of my toolboxes up there but uh, if not I'm gonna have to order it from Amazon or, or someplace um, so anyway but back to the Swift um, this is what I'm gonna use for Swift I've got this trainer that I bought a while ago it's called the Cyclops I was actually put it on Facebook marketplace to sell it but then I decided I was gonna use it as soon as I ran across this Swift, thank God I didn't sell it, but um, it was a pretty good one. I paid a pretty good amount of money for it at the time, but it's it's outdated now. They've got ones that come with power meters and everything. But just to get started, I'm I'm using this, and I want to just see if I like it. I tend to start projects real enthusiastically, and then after a few weeks, it just dies off, and and then I don't do it anymore. But um, anyway, uh, if you look real close, you'll see I bought a a cadence, um, a cadence, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a cadence sensor here. It's Bluetooth and what they call ant. And then I put another one on uh, here. Uh, it's on my, it's on my wheel. You can see it through right there. That's for, uh, that's, I'm sorry, that's for cadence. I think the one in the back wheel is for speed. And they hook up to the Swift app. Uh, it's actually on the computer, so I've got myself set up here with a big monitor out here. I've got I've got a fan. They recommend a fan because it gets hot when you're riding, and so uh, I'll let you know how this goes when I get everything set up. But right now, the first order of business is to get the wrap done. Uh, one other thing I did was I I tuned up all the derailers and made sure they shift properly and easily, and that's all done. So everything is ready to go and. My plan is to ride indoors for a bit, get get acclimated back into riding in groups and that on online, and then once I do that, I'll be uh, back into the groups on the road again. So uh, anyway, ah, what a nice bike. I dove into my brakes to take them off, and I got this side off because I want to replace these boots, or hoods, I guess they call them hoods. This one... Look at, look at this one. This one just completely disintegrated into nothing. So they have to be replaced. I tried to put a little <laughs> plastic, um, not plastic, but rubber, um, liquid rubber on there to, but that, that didn't work too good. So, um, so I, I'm trying to figure out what these are and I find this right here and you can see it, barely see it. It says, ST6600 Shimano Japan so that's the key so then I started looking online on Amazon and I found this ST6600 this is a boot for 15 bucks I could buy the real ones um, you can see there it showed me where where to look at it that says 5600 but mine is a 6600 so this should work fine but I think I'm gonna um, 
instead of taking the derailleur shifter off, I think I'm going to take the uh, brake line, which is this one here, and take the cable out of it. I think you can just um, open this up here. Oh, kind of hard to do with this thing like this. But uh, you can get in there, and I think I think the cable can comes out of there pretty not easily, but it comes out. So that's what I'm going to try to do. See if I can get this replaced, and uh, instead of having to take this is for the derailleur. I don't I don't want to mess with that because I've got them all set up properly. Brakes are a lot easier to adjust than the derailleur is. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to be able to get the boot on there and have new boots in a little bit. Looking through my box of spare parts, I, I found these um, to wrap my handlebars, so I've already got the tape, so I don't need to buy tape, so all I gotta do is get those uh, hoods and wait a couple of days for them to come in, and then I can get my bike up and running again. Oh, uh, now I've done it. This is what I always do. I always take it to the extreme, so now I've got a started sanding down this part of the handlebar, and now I get to this label here, and it's got a little bit of a chip right here, so now I gotta, I'm gonna sand this off, and then I look at these, and these are all rusted, so I'm gonna take this off and get rid of this phone holder and take the handlebar completely off. I'm gonna clean these bolts up or replace them, and um, then I'm going to sand down the whole handlebar all over again and repaint it. And oh my God, here we go. Yep, this is what, what happens when you get into the middle of stuff like this. You take it to the next level, and and uh, but you got to do it right, and then it's done, and and you got to something nice to look at. Well, this bike project is taking me a while, so I'm going to end this video here. But there's going to be a few more parts to it, so I don't know exactly how many, probably about three or four, showing how I got my bike all tuned up with my handlebars and ready to ride Zwift. So um, stay tuned for more. Uh, part two coming soon. And, um, you know, hit hit like and subscribe um, to follow more for more practical tips. Okay, have a great day.